Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to GeoLesson 17 Tube. You are invited to subscribe, share, like this video. Today we are going to do some questions concerning to the map reading. Students, do you remember how to read map? No matter, we are going to answer some questions from Ethiopian University entrance exam prepared in 2015 or 2023. Question number one from that map says that what is the geographic grid of point V? Students, in order to answer this question, you have to know the procedure. What is this procedure? One, you have to identify the line that runs from north to south or south to north, which is known as a sting line that found at the left side of our point V. And the peak, the number, the large number named with the line. Next, you are going to use your ruler and make grids continually you are going to take the number that penetrates the line into equal this is known as a sting why it is known as a sting because it divides the hemisphere into east and west second step you are going to look the line that found below the point that runs from east to west or west to east which is known as northy it divides the hemisphere into north and south then again you are going to pick the large number that name the parallel line or latitude and again as you make before by using your ruler equally divide the box where p is found then pick the large number okay from this let's see on this map v is found between a 9 degree 12 minutes 0 second south and 33 degree 36 minute 0 second east b 9 degree 6 minute 0 second south and 33 degree 42 minute 0 second east c 9 degree 12 minute 0 second north and 33 degree 36 minute 0 second west d 33 degree 42 minute 0 second east and 9 degree 6 minute zero second south it says so v is found in 33 degree 42 minutes zero second east and nine degree six minutes zero second south so the correct answer for this is d question number two what is the altitude of point n when the upper and the lower contours is eight and five millimeter respectively it says a 1437.5 meter b 1,452.5 meter C, 1,447.5 meter D, 1,452.5 meter It says, students, basically, this question has an error. How? One, the contour lines are commonly given with meter, whereas the distances from N, the upper and the lower distances are given with millimeter. So, in order to calculate this, we can convert to meter or millimeter but the distractors choices are given by meter okay so it is tedious with the parallel of the given time as a result i recommend for exam center it is better to prepare exam with a specific and understandable manner the other error is there is no absolute answer in this one students on the moment of as such manner you are expected to be keen okay there is the relative answer here so first it is better to understand how we can calculate according to this map the higher control line is 1500 meter from the map the lowest control line is 1400 meter from the control lines the vertical interval is 100 which comes from the subtraction of 1500 meter minus 1400 meter so we have 100 meter the general distance is the summation of the upper distance and the lower distance 8 meter plus 5 meter so it is 13 now we can calculate the altitude altitude of n is equal to 1500 the upper minus 8 times 100 over 13 which comes 1438.5 meter students in order to check the correctness of our calculation again we can do 
or calculate the lower altitude or the altitude of n by using the lower control line. The lower control line is 1400 plus the lower distance 5 meter times 100 over 13. This comes again 1438.5 meter. As I have said earlier, there is no 1438.5 meter in this structure. So relatively, the answer is A, 1037.5 is somewhat related to uh, 1438.5. Others are not. Why? Because there is large variance. B says that 1462.5, C said 1447.5, D said 1452.5, so relatively 1437.5 meter is the answer. Question number three. What is the aerial scale of the map? The fractional scale of a map given on this exam is 1 ratio to 115,000. While we are dividing by 100,000, it comes about 1 centimeter square to 1.5 kilometer square, multiplying by 1 centimeter square. So, the answer is B. Question number 4. Which type of slope is shown by line K and L, it says, or K to L? K to L is increasing from K to L which means k is found at gentle slope wider at the bottom while k is found at the lower altitude whereas l is found at the maximum height of the map 2500 meter while you move from k to l the steepness of the land becomes increases but while you come from l to k the gentleness of the land becomes increases so the wider base the narrower apex is known as what concave good so a caressed b even c concave d convex it says accordingly the answer is c convex another question if a given map with a scale of one ratio 14,000 is reduced by four what will be the new scale old scale is equal to new scale times the ratio so 1 over 14,000 times 1 over 4 1 times 1 is 1 4 times 4 is 16 the new scale is C 1 ratio to 116,000 the answer is C good question number 6 a map at one ratio 215 meter is larger to the map with a scale of one ratio 662,500. How many times is the scale increased? A two times, B four times, C 0 0.5 times, D three times. In order to answer these questions, we are expected to divide the large denominator by the ratio or rate okay so 215,000 divided by 4 which comes to one ratio 62,500 so the map is enlarged four times question number seven which one of the following is said to be the small scale map a one ratio 215,000 b one ratio to 13,000 c one ratio to 25,000 D, one ratio to 15,000. The large aerial coverage 215,000 is in number greater than 13,000, 25,000, and 15,000. Large scale maps are in number less, but in the level of information, they are higher. Small scale maps are in figure, they are large. Why? Because they are covering large areas. In level of information, they are low. So, A. Hey. Goodbye, students. Goodbye. Stay steady. Don't forget to subscribe, share in order to follow our.